One of the primary reasons why I wanted to get a 3D printer was so that I could print out terrain pieces. And I've been exploring the last couple of weeks ever since getting my 3D printer which type of terrain I wanted to print out. And so there's a couple of options. Um, the first one, and this is free, found on Thingiverse is called OpenForge 2.0. And the primary creator is Devin Jones, who created these tile sets, um, both a dungeon set as well as an inn set. And the thing that I really like about his tiles is that he has a magnet system uh, where you print these two pieces out, you place five millimeter magnets in here, which holds the pieces together after you glue them together. Um, and his wall, he has a version where the walls are half height and I tend to like walls that aren't as tall even though the taller walls look more realistic I like the half height walls because I'm able to see more of the dungeon uh, when I'm sitting down and so uh, that, that's what I really like about the OpenForge system 2.0 that he has available on Thingiverse and of course it's for free although if you are using his files you should definitely be a, become a patron he has a Patreon account where you can sort of support him for a couple of dollars for each file set that he comes out with. So definitely uh, want to be supporting people who are creating these resources for us. Um, but I, when I was at Gen Con, I did purchase the file set for Dragon Lock. And this is from Fat Dragon Games, who first started out with um, 2D printed on paper and cardstock and then you fold it together and glue it together to create dungeons and terrain and so I've used their material before uh, very impressive in terms of their 2D printed uh, stuff that you put together to make it 3D they just had a Kickstarter last year where they uh, came out with this dragon lock design and the reason why it's called dragon lock is it has this cool uh, clip system where you print out these clips and it has these indentations at the bottom where you can clip these things together and basically um, does a pretty good job holding everything together. Um, now the problem with this though is you have to um, pre-build all of your dungeons before you set them down because the clip system is underneath rather than on top. And so I actually liked OpenForge's system with magnets but I, aesthetically I like the Dragon lock walls and system better. That they're doing their uh, Kickstarter was very successful, so they were able to produce a ton of different tiles, and that's slowly being released over the next couple of months. And so aesthetically, I really like Dragon Lock, but uh, they're supposed to come out with a half height dungeon wall. But I figured out a way to uh, modify the tiles so that. Uh, I came up with, with shorter walls that are similar to these. And I'll, and I'll um, show later on in the video how to do that. And so at the end of the day, um, I ended up combining these two systems where I, I use the upper portion of Dragon Lock, but I've chosen to base it using the files from OpenForge. So uh, I basically print these uh, without the base uh, the clip base that comes with them and can glue these on top of the magnet and so the result has been this whole system where it is completely magnetized so each of these tiles you can take apart and they uh, clip together like this because of the magnets and so and this the whole thing is staying together just by the magnets now it's not as strong as a clip system where you can create different levels but um, I have a plan where I have a piece of sheet metal that I can put underneath if I want to create different levels and I'll show you a video with that later but I'm super impressed because I have the shorter walls on the Dragon Lock, aesthetically, I like these better. And I have the versatility of being able to have a magnet system that's able to keep these pieces together uh, strong enough that I don't have to worry about it coming apart if someone bumps the table or something like that. And it's super easy and I can lay out the dungeon as it's being revealed to the players. So I'm not restricted you know, by needing to uh, pre-assemble these rooms or dungeons that as they move along, I can go ahead and uh, set out the dungeon uh, while they're going. And it's super easy uh, because the magnets are designed to line up exactly 
where they need to line up with each other so they're matching. Um, basically all the all the walls line up in a way that matches where the where the squares are at. So this is super awesome. I'm really happy with it. And the rest of the video I'm going to show you how you go about making it, hacking into um, the design of, of both Dragonlock and then printing out uh, Devin Jones's Open Forge magnetic base. Stuff is uh, paper craft and it looks pretty good, but we want to go here to 3D printer models. And this is all of their sets. And they're going to have more because um, they're currently working on expanding this set. But the one you, that you want to start off with is the Dungeon Starter set. It's $10 and you get um, all of the basic tiles that you need right here. And so once you purchase that and download it, uh, then you can also go to Thingiverse. And once you go to Thingiverse, um, and I'll provide links down in the description section for all, uh, these two websites. Search for OpenForge. And you can click on any of these and as long as it's Devin Jones so click on his face and you can go to I think it's designs and in order to get the base uh, there's a couple of places where the base is available but I think the base that we want I found here on the wooden floors so go ahead and, and click on there go to thing files and the one that you want to start off with is uh, the two by two. Let me see if I can find it here. Right here, two by two. So go ahead and click on that and it'll automatically download. And then when you click on it, at least with flash print, it automatically opens up in flash print. Now, as I mentioned, you do need to increase the size of this because it's this is in centimeters and so we need to uh, scale it, and I found that scaling it to 102% makes adds a millimeter along all the dimensions, and that's exactly two inches. So go ahead and rescale it to 102% so that it's 51 millimeters on each side rather than just 50, and that will fit the inches better. So go ahead and close that out. And um, just uh, as I do, just hit Control V, and you'll have four of them, and I print four of them at a time, basically. So that's how you set up the magnet uh, bottoms and bases. Uh, the way that you set up the Dragon Lock files is, uh, we'll go ahead and close this out. No, is go to where your dra um actually uh, open up your flash print hit load and go to where your dragon lock files are this is the starter set right here and what you want to do is you want to open up a tile first so just double click on that and it will open up in here and you also want to load let's say a wall now i don't know the difference between um, these two walls they're both wall a and I, I opened up both of them and they look exactly the same to me so I'm not quite sure why, why there's two versions, so I'll go ahead and open up this one. And currently it's gonna, uh, this piece is overlapping the tile piece. And the reason why I did that is because I'll show you how to shorten the wall if you wanna shorten the wall. So basically click on the wall and go to move and move it down five millimeters. Uh, that doesn't quite look right though. Um, oh, I'm sorry, it's supposed to be 21, not 5. Minus 21. Now, um, you also have to move this because you do not want this thing printing. You want it to be shorter because you're replacing this base with the magnetic one. So go ahead and click on that one, and you want to move that down by 5 millimeters, like that, so that it's basically printing right along here and cutting off this lower half and so this is how i scaled my walls as you can see i don't know how to use cad or anything like that but i figured that figured out that it will print only what's above this line above the bed 
and so it's super easy just to modify the tiles and you can go down lower um, I think the half walls that are coming out by dragon lock or fat dragon is going to be actually only three um, stones high but I wanted it to be a little bit higher so I'm keeping mine at four but you can lower or raise it as high or as low as you want and basically uh, you're set to go now uh, make sure though when you're uh, making multiples of these or moving them around that you hit control click so that you have both this piece and this piece and then you can move it over to the corner and while both of them are highlighted hit control V or go up here to uh, edit to duplicate and you have another set there or I just hit control V and now I have four walls that I can print uh, all at the same time at this height and so that's basically how you do it but all of the pieces as long as uh, let's say you didn't want the shorter walls all you have to do is once you pull it up here is to lower it by um, not by 21 but by 5 and that will leave you with enough space where you can set this on top of the magnetic bases so that's how you modify these and print these out and so when I when I take it through my slicer um, it will actually go through all that and I do it on the lowest level so this uh, because was it takes from forever to their print these Kickstarter out. all of the pieces that they're coming out with and that's why I decided to go with this set there's a couple other sets that are available for purchase or you can go with the free ones on open forge but the reason why i picked dragon lock is because i do like it aesthetically and it has the most options now they're not all currently available because they're still fulfilling the kickstart and so they're still coming out with new files but i talked to tom uh, who's part of fat dragon at gen con and he said that most of the files should be out this fall and so there's plenty to work with now i already printed out the cavern pieces, a uh, number of the cavern pieces, and a lot of the current um, dungeon pieces that they have available. So this is a cavern set that I already printed out, and I really like them a lot. Um, this hazards and trap that just came out, it looks awesome. So, and you can mix and match, obviously. You can decide to go with open forge uh, with your walls, but then, you know, these traps are really cool, and you can go with that. And then these are sets that are yet to come out, this expansion set. And, and I'm super excited about this cage that's gonna come out, the crypt wall with skeletons, uh, a floor drain, a circular staircase, grates. So I really like the fact that they're supporting this and coming out with new pieces. Uh, and that's why I decided to go with Dragon Lock. Now there is another, um, another company here uh, that's called Printable Scenery. And so Printable Scenery has actually their own dungeon set. So let's see, let's go with Fantasy and, and see if I can find it. Um, this is their cavern set. They have a cavern set, but they also have a dungeon set. And th this is pretty reasonable. I'll, I purchased their trees here, but you can. there's even a frigate, a, a big ship, which is awesome. Um, I might download that at some point but they're they're constantly coming out oh here it is here are their dungeon tiles now the thing about these dungeon tiles is that they are thinner the walls are thinner so you can actually fit more uh, miniatures especially in the hallways but again I think aesthetically I like the dragon lock system better but this is another option is printable sceneries um, and I really like their buildings a lot but you can you can, these are so cheap, this is only $10 for the entire set. Um, these are so cheap that you can experiment and uh, try out different ones, print out different ones and see if you like them. Or you can mix and match based on what you like from each set. So definitely there's options out there and I imagine as we go into the future that there will be even more options coming out. I know a couple of Kickstarters that's going to be coming up where we're going to be taking advantage of uh, 3D printers more and more for all of our scenery. So this is another website that you might want to check out to see what is available. So this is the things that you're going to need for putting together the magnetic bases. So I printed out my walls and various tiles and these are um, the magnetic bases that you print out separately. And so I use this kind of super glue but I think any kind of super glue would work. 
and here is the magnetic balls. They're called Bucky balls. Also, they're five millimeter um, or a quarter inch, I think. And these are helpful just to clamp them down when they're crooked. When it's flat, you don't need these, but um, these will hold them into place. So the first step is I use one of the tiles just to keep the magnetic balls from sticking to each other because they'll pop out and stick to each other. So this way, just slide them in there and they should just fall in there. And some of them, because of a little bit of misprint, won't go in all the way and you have to push them in. So just cover it up like this and stick in the next one. If you don't cover it up, it'll hop out and stick with each other. And then once you're done with that, you can just move it along up here just to make sure they don't jump out because these are pretty strong magnets. And it's really only the corner ones that need covering because those, those are the ones that will hop out as long as you keep them covered like that. So once you're done, you can actually take it off and you can see that all of the balls are in there. And what's great about this design uh, is that he put space in between so that you don't get super glue um, into the balls because the balls have to rotate and twist based on their polarity. So that's a fantastic small detail of the design. Um, from the person who made them so kudos for that and then just apply a little bit of super glue in each of these spots and then just take your tile and stick it on just make sure it's even and this doesn't really need it because it's relatively flat, but just to hold it in place, we can go ahead and just clamp it down like that. There you go. Now, um, I suggest actually making a floor tile first because once you make a floor tile, and this is already painted, uh, once you make a floor tile, you actually don't need to cover up the spots to prevent the magnets from jumping because since this already has magnets underneath it, when you, slide, when you place it over the floor tile that's already made, the magnets will actually stick in there. So right, right now, this base sticks because of the magnets. So it'll prevent it from jumping out and sticking uh, and makes placement pretty easy just throw them in there like this. So make a floor tile first. Oh yeah, see how this one is sticking out? Uh, because of basically the print didn't, um, there was a little flaw in the print. So you just have to just poke it in like that and that's fine. And the, these, actually I don't know if you can tell, but they just stick in there like that. like that and slides into place and you can glue all these pieces back on so that's basically how it works um, it's fairly easy to do just remember don't st uh, glue your fingers together with the super glue so it doesn't take very long for it to dry and then take these off and just make sure it works I think this is so cool.